Oh, what a day. Back in the world of James. Right, I think my cam belt has just snapped. Um, I have done the axle, so that's a bit of good news, but what makes me think this is I was going along, wasn't going fast, probably doing about 30, 35. It just looked sort of like someone's janked the handbrake up and then just switched off, but I did do the clutch the second it done that random, that sudden jolt. But anyway, I've jumped the starter motor, I've took the oil cap off to see if I can see the rocket arms moving, and unfortunately, they're not moving. This is all moving down here, which I sort of expect it's running off the crank, but the rocket arms, rocket arms are not moving, and the starter is spinning very quickly like there's no compression. So unfortunately, I think I'll snap me. Timing belt. Uh, but it's not the end of it. I'll rebuild it and I'll fix it. So the adventures. I've just got back to James HQ and whipped the rock cover off. Thought the best way to have a look. And so far we have two snapped rocket arms. And where is it? A bent push rod. I'll put that back in there. Very rear one that is stuck. Yeah, that's kind of bent. What I'll do is I'll get the whole lot off and then more than likely just whip off the um, head as you do. <sighs> what a day. Literally in the process of taking out the coolant because I'll be reusing it. And as you can probably not see, there. Yeah. Nice and clean, look at that blueness. I can't zoom in because my hand's kind of occupied. Blue. So back in the world of James, I've got the rockers off. Leaking as you see, you can see I've got two broken ones. I will be cleaning them up and looking at them better in a better video. It'll be push rods in order. And for the engine. Uh, rocker cover off. Looking down, you might see centre of the screen, the little goldy bit. One of the ones back there, oh that one actually, it's slightly deformed, so it is literally gonna be a head off job. Stay tuned for more. Well, literally in the process of making sure it's all plugged up to remove the cylinder head. Oh too hot for this. Right, so I've just took the intake manifold off and look at the level of this eunus. Very ew. Let's get a pick and see how. Hold on. Ew. Yeah, that's disgusting. As you can see, some of the nuts and the threads have actually came out. So, what I've done is I've drew a bit of cardboard. Where the um, like the X, where the, it was just the um, nut that came out, not the fr bolt, fr not the actual thread. Put it on the back, like so. I'll do a bit better video on this because obviously it's a bit minion, you better don't drop stuff that is important. Are we getting there? Well, current status is intake manifold is off, exhaust manifold is off. There's just enough room to get it out of the way. Some of the studs have stayed in where they should be, but the rest didn't. So what I've done is done a bit of cardboard. You can see top of the vehicle, that's the front, so I know where they are. That little bolt of nut is right underneath the centre manifold, James of the future. Remember that one? And the nuts that came off how it should be, I've just stuck on the back, so I've got all of the nuts and bolts. Well. The bolts and the bolt threads. Mm -hmm. We're getting there. Cylinder head is officially off. Look at these powerful, powerful pistons that produce no power. Yeah, I know, it's very... I've not seen the top of the pistons looking like that when a head's just been removed. Bearing in mind, the cam belt snapping hasn't even happened 24 hours ago. The why I've took it off, actually, is because one of these, uh, ooh, is that one? One of them when I was looking down, 
looked a bit damaged, so I took the head off to look at them properly. Will you focus? Probably not, yeah, I believe it's that one. But as I'm here, I can check all of them. If they're good, they stay. If they're bad, they get changed. Oh, what a day. Well, in the process of checking each individual uh, tap it, brass sleeve guide, a thingamajig, tooth looking devices, probably can see oh, at the very top of the screen, it's very slightly distorted. In order to change these, change these you've got to get the head off, hence why I took the head off, because I could just about see down the hole with the push rod, it was looked suspicious so I've got two more to do to check sorry and then start ordering <laughs> 